What's up, Ken folk? Welcome back to another episode of Bubba and the Old Man. Today I'm going to be giving y'all the rundown about our new director of scouting personnel or something and GM, Drew Fabianich. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the foot. All right, so a big portion of this I got from a Christian Clemente article on 247. I'm going to be dropping the link in the comments section. Dude does great work over there on 247. It's a free article, so if you want to go check it out, uh, I'm going to put it in the description or in the comment section. Definitely one of those places. So the first quote that I got from the article is, in his role at Auburn, Fabianich will work as a scout in recruiting and in the transfer portal. Along with scouting Auburn's opponents with his NFL experience, he'll also act as an NFL liaison of sorts, working to get Auburn players to the next level. Brian Horse has been big on this. NFL. NFL, we saw it with the recruiting class going up and announcing their names as if they were being drafted. Getting a guy from the NFL like this is going to really help us with recruiting, and that's the biggest thing for Arson. X's and O's, he's great. I mean, he may not be the greatest connector with players, but he's a football guy. So if they can see, I can get you to the league. This guy worked in the league for 18 years. I think that'll definitely help. Um, he spent 18 years as a coach for various programs before transitioning into the scouting department for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I think he coached both sides of the football, actually. I think he was a defensive coordinator, and he also coached on the offensive end. So, you know, that's great. And he started with Dallas as a blessed oak scout. I'm going to be honest with you, I had never heard of this before uh, I read this. Apparently, it's like they're lower on the total pole scouts, who scout the next uh, class of draft eligible players. I think the example I got from a, a Steelers Depot article was, you know, if you're working in 2021 Pro Day, you're looking at that. The Blessed Oak Scouts will be looking at the 2022 draft prospects. So, you know, do with that what you will. In 2004, who's promoted to the Cowboys Midwest Scout? If you played Matt, which is one of the easiest examples I can give, you can put guys uh, Midwest, which means he scouted specifically the Midwest. All those programs, uh, he was looking at the best prospects around their pick for those areas. And then in 2008, he got the big time promotion, National Scout. He can go coach, he can go scout anywhere. Obviously, Jerry Jones had a lot, and I mean a lot, of faith in this guy to make him the National Scout. And during his tenure in Dallas, 11 of his first round picks, were uh, sent to the Pro Bowl. Obviously, he wasn't the only scout, but he was a big portion of it. You know, Mike Parsons, those kind of guys, C.D. Lamb. Um, so, you know, guys like that, he had a big role in. And then I'm going to this uh, Sports Illustrated article by the Cowboys country staff. Fabianich was in discussions about other NFL opportunities with some NFL, some in the NFL regarding him as capable of becoming an NFL GM. That is big time words from this article. I don't know how much I trust that, but honestly, getting NFL talent is all I care about. Getting uh, these guys from the NFL to come to our school and help our program in any way they can is huge. Now, am I gonna say that this is a great hire? No, I had no idea who this dude was before I did some research on him. Do I think it's a good hire? In my opinion, in the research that I've done in the past two days since I found out who this man was, yes. But honestly, I have no idea. I'm just here to relay the information to you guys. Getting a guy from the NFL, obviously great. Reception of it from the outside world, obviously great. Will it help with recruiting? I think so. But the biggest thing in recruiting is what these guys see on the field. The connection they make with the coach is obviously great preseason. But this man is in his second year on the job coach Brian Harson is. He needs to go out on the field and deliver a good product to these recruits. Obviously getting Carmelo English, Braden Joyner, uh, uh, Cobb, uh, Terrence Love. These are great, but that's four guys. We have three guys in the top 30 in Alabama. You know, that's great. Uh, we had four total last year. We have to keep making these strides, get these kids from Langston Hughes, um, get all these other big time guys we're after. Try not to fumble on Brock Glenn, which it seems like we already have, to be honest with you. Um, just, it's really simple. 
Is this a good hire? Yes, in my opinion, based off what I know. But, you know, this, is, this isn't done. You know, our off the field staff's great. We need to show a good product on the field. So, if you guys like the video, it's about my fourth or fifth take on this video. So, um, you know, hit the like button, subscribe. We're almost at 800. Sorry I've been absent for so long. It's been a lot going on. Obviously, the setup's not great. The echo is big time, but, you know, I thought I'd come on here and give you guys the rundown. I didn't see many other videos breaking this guy down. So I went out and did a little bit of research, came back to show y'all who this guy was. If you like the video, like, subscribe. Word that Meagle. Slim, go! Oh. Stop!